Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be covering how to use the index and match functions in Excel. After covering each of the functions independently, I'll show you how to combine them to perform some powerful lookups. Let's jump in. Let's start with the index function, which can be used like a map to locate a value within your data. After entering in the index function, we'll be using the top row of arguments for this example. The two required arguments are the array and the row number. To start off with the basics, we'll enter an array of the candy types. After a comma, we'll enter a row number of two. Close parentheses and click enter. You'll see this function returns a value of sour for the candy type because within our array, the second value is sour. Opening this function again, if I were to use the optional argument of column number and enter a one, you'll see I return the same result because there's only one column in our array. However, if I were to open up this function and enter a column value of two, you'll see I get an error because again, we only search one column in our array. To solve for this, I can drag the blue box to a second column for Candy Baron sales. Now, if I click enter, I get a value of 210 because Excel is returning the second row and second column within our array. For this example though, I'll return back to the original function where we're just looking up the candy name of sour. Moving on to the match function, this returns a number value based on your given search function in a range of cells. To begin, I'll enter the match function. I'll enter the lookup value as our candy type, which is named sour. After a comma, the lookup array should include the lookup value you're looking for. So in this case, I'll highlight the column of candy types. After another comma, even though it's just optional, I recommend entering zero for an exact match. Close parentheses and click enter. You'll see the match function returns a value of two because sour is the second value within our lookup array. To share another example, if I open up the function again and instead of a cell value for the lookup value, I'll enter the beach suites candy store name in quotations. And then I need to change the lookup array to cells B7 through D7. Hit enter and you see now I get a match function return of three because beach suites is the third value within our lookup array. These two functions alone may seem pretty basic. However, when we combine them together, we can perform some pretty complex lookups. Let's see how we can combine them. To start off with a basic example of combining the index and match functions, I'll start with the index function. And the array I want to return is the sales for Candy Baron. So I'll highlight that column. After a comma, the row number is going to be an embedded match function, where the lookup value is going to be the candy type of gummy. So I'll select that cell reference. And the lookup array will be our column of candy types. Notice that the range of cells in terms of height for both the index and match function are the same, and this will ensure we get the correct result. One final comma, and I'll enter zero for an exact match, close parentheses on these functions, and click enter. And you see I get the correct result. Candy Baron had sales of 120. If I change the drop down to Taffy, you'll see that updates to 180. But to expand on this function and really use its full capability, let's add Candy Store into the index and match. Reopening this function, the first step I'm gonna take is changing the array for the index function to the amount of sales for all three candy stores. Heading back between these parentheses for the end of the index function, I'm gonna enter a comma to get the optional column number argument. And here we're gonna enter another match function. The lookup value here will be the candy store, so I'll enter the cell reference for that. And the lookup array here will be the range of candy stores, cell B7 through D7. Another comma, I'll enter zero for an exact match. One final closing parentheses, and I can click enter. Now you see if I change the candy store to beach Sweets, the index and match function has returned the correct result for the candy type of taffy. I can also change the candy type to chocolate and you'll see the index and match function returns the correct result. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.